Hello everyone and welcome to another room build in The Sims 4. Today I'm building another nursery because I really like to build my uh, latest one. Uh, it was the brown nursery or the choco nursery and I really enjoyed building that so I'm back with another nursery and this one it's a blue nursery or the color scheme of the nursery it's blue and so I think a lot of people will use it for a little boy but you can use it for a girl too in fact when I was a baby my nursery um, was in the majority of the nursery was blue so yeah and I'm a girl so you can definitely use the nursery for blue as well um, you can I mean you can use the nursery for girls as well um, but yeah and I'm basically done with the build itself the colors that you see on the walls and on the floor and the windows and the size of the room won't change it will stay like this and yeah, I uh, played with several uh, kinds of blue, some darker and some lighter, lighter ones. And I also used a dark brown on the floor because I like the way the dark brown con contracts uh, with the dark blue on this wall. So yeah, and this wall, it's one of my favorite ones. I think it's my favorite parts of the entire room because I ended up really going uh, kind of crazy with the decoration I really give my best in this part and here I'm adding kind of a studio with um, uh, closets here these are not really closets they are the kitchen cabinets um, I really went crazy with them and I was trying to merge the couch to these um, cabinets but it would be clipping to, through the wall so it wasn't really working but in the end I ended up um, making what I wanted in the beginning I wanted to have only the seating showing I uh, didn't want it the um, part where you you put your back uh, in the couch I wanted that part to be inside the wall but it didn't work because it would clip to the wall so I um, ended up doing something similar to what I wanted and it looks really good as well. Um, basically I just hide the parts of the couch where you put your arms so yeah it definitely looks like it belongs to the entire furniture or to the entire studio part. Uh, and I used the decorations, Christmas decorations again, and they worked really well because they are blue, so they fit the color scheme. Uh, they are blue and white. I really like to use them in kids' rooms or nurseries because they are just so cute. And I also use these little uh, animal paintings. They also came in colors or the colors that I could choose uh, would go really well with this nursery, so I did use them. And here I think I'm changing uh, one of the wall colors. Oh no, I went back to the initial color. And I'm adding the little um, bear here, the teddy bear, as a decorative pillow. That teddy bear is just adorable. <laughs> and I'm enlarging some toys as well and putting them in the table. So it looks more like um, uh, something that a kid would have. And... Um, this can definitely work for a child as well if you delete the crib and this part here that I'm building right now which is supposed to be a table where you change your um, your baby's di diapers so yeah if you delete that part it can definitely work for a kid as well because I did put in objects that are for children like a dollhouse, a scientific dollhouse um, so yeah, babies cannot use that, so it's better for um, kids. And here I was trying uh, another couch because the other one has a little pillow on it. But I like the color on this one better, so I keep this one. And I'm also adding uh, some rugs that go great with the dark wall. Um, but yeah, I'm moving on to another wall here and I think I will put in uh, stickers. Are related to the sky like the moon and some clouds and I will also put in the creep on this wall funny thing though 
I recorded the I built this uh, old room and I recorded this entire room and I get up get out of the game starting editing the video and doing all of that stuff I even exported the video and then I realized that I didn't put in a crib <laughs> so yeah and I had to go back to the game and add a crib because otherwise this wouldn't be a nursery or a bedroom kids bedroom because there's no place to sleep in so yeah um in the end I ended up uh, putting the crib where this uh, grayish bluish chair is um, those little th that little chair on the right of the mirror so the crib will be there I was going to put it uh, on the corner next to the door but it, w it didn't fit that there very well because I will put there um, a lightning and um, a table with some decorations and wouldn't go really well there so in the end I ended up uh, putting where that chair is and it just I, I recorded that part too so you can see adding me uh, me adding the crib uh, it's a blue and white crib but yeah if you all were wondering like eh, there's no crib and the video is almost over so where's the crib it's like in the last seconds because i forgot to edit at the first time but yeah and here's the table that i was talking about it's just a little table with some decorations and flowers and plants and all of that stuff um but uh yeah and i will change those flowers there the purple ones and white ones i will change them to light blue and the vase will be black um, and I think it that's pretty much it. I don't think I added a lot more stuff. As you can see, I did um, change the color of the flowers. And I'm going to add some more decorations on the walls. And yeah, I don't think I will do much more. Yeah, that little space, that space painting that goes well against the darkest uh, wall and also oh I deleted I deleted because I wanted to have these lights they are um, lights with some decorations on it and they are perfect for kids bedrooms so I ended up adding those but yeah and I'm all I'm putting the crib finally so yeah uh, we are almost done thanks so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week so bye